Congratulations on the Blu-ray release of Thank the program. Thank you. Yes. So take us back to the 80s. Like when you, what were some of the things that ran through your mind uh, or through your head when you got cast for this role, knowing that not only this is an iconic character, but also you have to follow up after the late, great Christopher Reeve Superman movies? Yes. I mean, I think I was 18 years old at the time, and getting the part, I had the most, I was just so excited. I was going to leave New York City, live in England for a year by myself, Gain 20, 20 pounds, 25 pounds, working out with Chris's trainer, Alf Joint, who had me doing trampolining and horseback riding and fencing and uh, running and late weightlifting. Um, so it was such a complete change of everything from uh, how I felt about myself to, I can't believe they actually cast me because I was this, this skinny little, you know, kind of, but I did have that feeling of like, I want to do this. I want to do that part. I relate to I related to the scenes I don't know you did very well thank you uh, now uh, you also play the current Supergirls Earth Mom yes yeah. <laughs> so um, what were some of your advice to Melissa and how do you think Melissa has been doing so far Supergirl well I can't say enough great things about Melissa Benoist I feel she is my second daughter I just think she's so deeply gifted I just saw her on Broadway playing Carol King and beautiful she's so spectacularly talented um, and I think I'm trying to remember if I've ever given her advice. We've had some chats on the set. I, you know, my, my big thing is about self care, self preservation. When you're carrying a show like this, where everybody, you're basically in more than half of the scenes, um, just the exhaustion that can come from that kind of long haul, especially on a TV series, um, and finding ways to be self protective and self caring. So that way. What makes a girl super, do you think? Oh, I think what makes a girl super is um, integrity, have, being ethical, having a morality about things, not just flying by or following a group. Um, and, you know, kindness, that's a big one. <laughs> being kind, so, yeah. Alan, thank you so much. Thank Congratulations. You so much. Congratulations on the Supergirl Blu-ray release. Thank you yes. very much. Congratulations to Warner Brothers. Thank Congratulations you. to Helen, everybody. Uh, now, you've played this role multiple times. Yes. Uh, I want to ask you, what qualities of Jimmy Olsen do you share? Do you dabble in photography? Uh, I do dabble. I mean, you know, I love taking pictures, but uh, Jimmy is just a, a person that's alive, that gets out of bed, and he, uh, Jimmy is a lot like me. I mean, I, I kind of just say things out loud, and I, I'm a good person. I'm not a hurtful person, yeah. but I say things out loud, and I will say things before I even think about it too much or the consequences, and that's kind of the way Jimmy was. Jimmy was a very honest person, and he would speak honestly, and everybody could see him for that. Mm. You know, he had his innocence. I mean, even if he would say something stupid, everybody would understand that, well, he didn't say it because he's stupid. He just, it's Jimmy, yeah. you know, and he, he's just... Here we are 40 years later, and, you know, pretty much Jimmy is, is me. And there's nothing, and there's not much I can do about that. <laughs> what do you hope the fans would see from this Blu-ray uh, release? I think they're going to see a, a film that is brighter in color. Um, I think they're going to see some new, new f footage. And uh, it's just, it's always exciting to, I haven't seen the film yet, mm. and I can't wait to see it again on Blu-ray. Mm. But... Uh, it's so fun to see a film that you hadn't seen, let's just say, 10 years. And you look at it and you just, you know, for me, obviously being in the film, uh, I'm going to remember quite a bit. <laughs> it's going to cue a lot of stuff. But we, it was an all-star cast. Yeah. I mean, you know, Faye Dunaway, Hart Bachner. I mean, it was just, it's Peter O'Toole, Brenda Vaccaro. It was just loaded with stars, mm. you know. And the Superman movies was just kind of new people. Yeah. new faces but I remember when I went to do Supergirl it was like wow look at this <laughs> this is rock and roll <laughs> last, be good <laughs> last question sir um, now you showed up as Dark Sur in Smallville yes. I remember that yeah yes. so have they called you to show up in maybe the current Supergirl series or are you going to make an appearance to, on any Justice of Justice League I did, oh. uh, I did a little something in Justice League that's right and uh, I did uh, Smallville and uh, hopefully maybe a Supergirl will happen so I can, you know, get a little bit of my medical paid for, <laughs> you know, but I'll see. I'll tell Helen to tell the producers or I'll tell uh, somebody to let them know I'm available and I'll, maybe we can do something fun in there for Jimmy. Maybe I can hang out with the other Jimmy. Yes. Looking forward to it. Sir. That'd be cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right,